Hey everybody, Justin Ryburn here with Kintic. Uh, if you've been following our recent announcements, you've seen that we released NMS, Network Monitoring System. One of the things that this platform allows us to do is to pull data from an API and present that in our NMS product. That being said, it's not super straightforward necessarily on how this is done. So I recently put together a blog with some information on how to do this. But since I know a lot of those folks out there learn better in visual format, I thought I'd throw a quick video together uh, to show you how this is done as well. So I'm a big fan of using Docker to containerize software as I'm playing around with it. it helps keep my system clean. I also like to use what's called Docker Compose because it allows you to do quick upgrades to the versions of the containers that you're running in your, in your Dockerized application. So that being said, what you see here on the screen is my Docker Compose YAML file, the configuration file on how I want to uh, build my container. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna build a, a container called Telegraph. For those not familiar, Telegraph is an open source platform uh, that's designed to be able to collect metrics and uh, from one location, transform them, and then put them into another location. In this case, we're gonna pull the metrics via JSON from an API. We're going to transform those and send those via InfluxDB, Influx line format actually, as it is, into the Kintic NMS. So the first thing that I do is I tell it which version of uh, YAML I'm gonna be using. I define my services. In this case, we just have one service in this uh, container called Telegraph. Uh, I'm gonna pull down the Docker Hub, uh, docker.io version of Telegraph, grab the latest version. Next thing I'm going to do is tell it uh, what API endpoint I want to send this data to. So this is uh, the API endpoint that Kintic sends all of our uh, metrics to, as I mentioned, via influx line format. I've pulled out my API email and token here for the purposes of this video, but you'd need to plug those in uh, by pulling those up in your Kintic profile and plugging those in here. And then I'm going to uh, tell Telegraph where to store all my config files. I like to keep it in a directory off of my user directory just to keep things uh, easy to find and, and clean on my host. Just tell it basically to uh, restart this anytime it crashes and to use networking mode host. So basically I'm just going to use the host uh, networking to do the port mapping for the containers. So you can see here that all of my configs are going to live in uh, Etsy Telegraph. And so that's where my telegraph.com file that we're gonna look at next would live. All right, the first thing that we have here in the Telegraph config is we add a few global tags that I want to add. These are, if you wanna think of them as like static pieces of information that I'm going to send into Influx. I don't gather these via the API, but I wanna go ahead and set this so that I have some additional metadata that's gonna be sent into NMS uh, along with the dynamic data that I'm gathering via the API. So these are each defined uh, here as global tags. The next thing that I do is I define what the API endpoint is that I'm going to gather the data from. In this particular case, I'm using a Google uh, Mesh Wi-Fi that I have available in my home. And so I am telling it the IP address and the uh, API endpoint that it wants to gather it. I'm telling it I want to use the data format of JSON v2. And I have a couple tags that by default would be uh, included that in this case, I wanna exclude them because uh, the that piece of data doesn't really provide me anything useful uh, to what I'm trying to accomplish. So I have those set as uh, excludes. The next thing I do is tell Telegraph what pieces of the JSON payload I'm interested in, in collecting and uh, what I want to actually call those in the resulting influx uh, data that I'm going to publish. So I've got uh, five different things that I'm collecting here. The first one is the local IP address, which is uh, in the JSON payload would be WAN.localIPAddress. Uh, so that would be what that field is called in the JSON payload. I'm telling it it's gonna be a type of string and I'm gonna ultimately in my influx tag that as um, device underscore IP. Next thing I'm going to do is pull down the hardware ID or the serial number in this case. And so that is under system.hardware ID. And that is a string. And again, I'm going to rename that one. I'm going to call that serial number. Next up is the software version, the operating system version that happens to be running on this access point. So uh, that is stored in JSON under software.software .software version. 
going to again call that one. That's going to be a string type, and it's going to be named OS dash version in the relating uh, influx data. Next up, we have uh, the model ID, basically the, the model of the access point that I have. Obviously, Google has multiple, and so I want to track that piece of information. So I'm going to pull that down from system.modelID as a string, store that in my influx as model. And then last but not least is an actual metric here, which is called uptime. So I'm going to pull down system.uptime. That's going to be an integer, and I'm going to call that uptime-sec, S-E-C for second uh, in the revol resulting influx. That's all I'm really pulling out of the API, so then I move into what the output's going to look like. Now, in this case, just to make troubleshooting easier, I'm actually going to publish it to uh, a metrics.out file in my local directory so that I can see what the resulting uh, influx data looks like for troubleshooting. And then I'm also going to send it to an HTTP endpoint, um, again, to Kintix API in influx format. So Telegraph's going to handle the actual formatting of that data for me. And uh, it's just going to do it in the order that the file, the fields are listed in the config file since I don't have uh, sorting set to true. I have it set to false in this case. Uh, again, I'm just going to feed it uh, my API token and email from the variables that I set in the Telegraph config file, pulling those out, putting those into the header for the API call that we're going to make to Kintic, and then telling Kintic that the format here is going to be in flux. So what we're looking at here is the output that I'm getting from that Google wireless access points. So if we walk through the tags that we pulled out of the JSON, we had WAN.local IP address. So you'll find WAN here and then local IP address here. So in this case, this IP address here would be the one that's going to be pulled out and put in as the IP address that's on this particular device as a string and stored in device IP in the resulting influx data. Next, we'll look at system, which is here, and then hardware ID, which is here. So this value here is the string that is gonna be pulled out of the API endpoint and put into the influx data that we're going to send into Kintic. Next is software.software version. So we're under this block here called software. And then we're pulling out this value here called software version. And this value here would be the value that would be stored as a string in our Kintic NMS. Next, we pull out system.modelID. So again, we're in the system block. This case, this time we're looking for model ID, which is here. So this value here would be stored in the resulting influx as a string type. Last but not least is that uptime metric that we're wanting to measure. So we're back under the system block. This time we're going down to grab uptime. And so this value here, 488702 is the current uptime that would be stored as an integer in the uptime dash SEC value in our resulting influx. So here you can see the result of the data being sent into the Kintic NMS. We're looking at the Google Wi Fi device. Uh, the vendor is Google. The model was the value that we pulled out of that API, as well as the OS version, the serial number and the uptime that we're tracking. And of course, you can see that we're graphing that uptime uh, over time. The longer time goes along, the longer that a device has, has been up. Thanks everybody for joining me. This has been a quick summary of how to take data from an API using JSON format, use Telegraph to reformat that data and send it via influx line format into the Kintic NMS uh, product.